Okay, so just um, trying to explain this one. Basically, so we've got um, this one, mod z minus 1, which means that if you've got the number 1, the modulus of that would be the distance that z is from 1. That equals the distance that z is from. Now, if you factorise out the minus, so that's um, i root 3. So the distance z is from minus 2 root 3. So if you go to minus 2 and then up to root 3, that's going to be there. So it's equal distance from both these fixed points. So that's actually the perpendicular bisector. Now that point is 1, 0, and this point is minus 2 root 3. So what are we actually after here? Okay, so we are after argz, which means the angle that z takes, okay, when, like z's moving along here, z, z moves along this line. And argz, that means the distance z is from zero, when z moves, we want to know what that angle is. Okay, when z moves along this line. So z's moving along this line, and it's when the minimum distance, that's what that is, when the minimum, when z is at its minimum distance, and that would be the minimum distance z is from the origin. So the minimum distance z is from the origin is this distance here. So it is actually the perpendicular distance. So if you drew that a little bit bigger, and that's that yellow line there, um, it's actually like this perpendicular distance. Now here's the thing. Um, you've got these two points, you've got one, and then you've got this other point out here at minus two root three. So that yellow is the perpendicular bisector of that. So if you can get the gradient of this one, which is minus two root three, if I get the gradient of that line, now the gradient of that line, let's just see what it is. The gradient of that line will be uh, root three minus zero, okay, on minus two minus one. So it's root three minus three. Now if you rationalize that kind of backwards, you get three on minus root three. So it's minus one on root three. So when tan theta equals minus one on root three, that angle will actually be, the acute one will be 30, but because it's got the negative, it's in the second quadrant, so it's actually the obtuse angle. So that angle there will be 150. Okay, so what that means is this angle in here will be 30. And these two lines are parallel, so that angle there will be 30 as well. Now, if that angle's 30, then this angle here is what we actually want. That angle there is the argument of Z, so that means the angle Z makes with the origin, so that's from that line, see that angle there, when that line is at the shortest distance from this line here in yellow, which is that. So it's the shortest distance when it is its perpendicular distance. So that just means that if you draw it even a little bit bigger, just so you can see it a bit better. So you like that. There's the red line, which is the perpendicular bisector. Here from zero to there, that's the perpendicular line. So the, the angle between these two points, that runs at 150 degrees. So this one in here is 30. So that means that one's 30. And this one here will be 150. So what does this line represent? That represents the argument of Z when the minimum of mod Z, when mod Z is a minimum, the shortest distance is your perpendicular distance. So that means that the argument is 150. That's what that line's running at. And 150 is five pi on six, which is D.